just like Tim Brandt. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't Hardest know about that. Hardest working man in sports. Hey, listen, got Ooh. a story here that I think you'll enjoy. Brenda Fries is the highly decorated women's basketball coach at the University of Maryland. She's been the national coach of the year. Her team won the 2006 national title, and she is certainly one of the most successful coaches in the sport. But with all the wins and all the losses and lessons of perseverance in sports, there was nothing to prepare her family for what happened in their personal lives. Go ahead. We got a sprint. Her attention to detail is still there. So is her steely resolve. But these days, Brenda Fries is coaching and living with a very different perspective. You've heard those stories or you've watched them from afar. You never thought it could happen to you. Seven weeks ago, Brenda's twin son, Tyler, just two and a half years old, was diagnosed with leukemia. Whatever the worst loss, you know, my wife may have suffered not even close to that day. Just the shock of it, uh, the initial moment, uh, not knowing anything about uh, leukemia. Tyler has undergone chemotherapy, and these days, he and brother Marcus can be found running around mom's practices. I love you. Good job. Did you have fun? And he's been put into the low risk category. Um, the, the great news is, is it's a very curable type of leukemia. We're still really cautiously optimistic because there's still a long way to go with treatment and everything like that. But, you know, compared to where we were a month ago, things are going really well. Instrumental in Tyler's success, Marcus. And that's been truly special to see Marcus kind of go into that uh, protective, nurturing role, uh, anything that, that he can do to, to help his brother, and he understands that his brother is sick. Brenda and Mark hope Tyler's story comes with a silver lining. You know, maybe the, the reason why Tyler was chosen was so we can help put, uh, you know, a voice on leukemia. You know, um, I've thought about that, and uh, you don't want to feel like you've ever been chosen with cancer for a greater good. It seems to like, can you pull a greater good out of something terrible? But in a way, I think that's what we're trying to do. I think if we can bring, uh, shed some kind of light to it, I, I think right. maybe there's a positive uh, in this uh, tough situation. See you later, buddy. Mm. Wow. Low risk, mm. curable, and the way they've attacked this should be motivation for all of us. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing because we remember when Brenda was pregnant was and yeah. now yeah. she's got yeah. two toddlers. Absolutely. We'll yeah. be right back. Wishing them the best.